This part will cover the intensive care unit medical equipment used in the diagnosis and treatment of COVID-19 critically ill patients. We will begin with the conventional medical equipment used in the intensive care unit. Then we will mention some medical equipment used recently in the COVID-19 intensive care unit. After that, the discussion of the impact of chaos created using numerous medical equipment in typical intensive care unit room will be made with stressing the importance of its management. Later, novel intensive care unit medical equipment will be presented. Finally, we will present typical medical equipment cost of 16-bed ICU department. We can see here a list of conventional medical equipment used in the intensive care unit. The right side photo shows a conventional intensive care unit room with typical intensive care unit patient connected to many medical devices including patient monitor, syringe and infusion pumps, ventilator, hemodialysis machine, as well as other devices. In this slide we see some conventional commercial medical intensive care unit equipment, patient monitor, infusion syringe and volumetric pumps, ventilator, and feeding pump. In this slide we see another group of conventional medical intensive care unit equipment, hemodialysis, intracranial pressure monitor, hemodynamic monitor, and temperature management device. In the next slide we will watch video about digital mobile x-ray system. FD Argo made by the Fujifilm company. Then we will watch a video for intensive care unit electric bed. FD Argo, the ultimate portable x-ray solution designed with and for technologists. FD Argo provides the exceptional image quality, gentle dose, and high efficiency you expect from Fujifilm DR, all on a sleek and nimble platform. FD Argo is Fujifilm's latest DR portable solution, integrated for use with FDR Devo digital detectors, featuring Fujifilm's patented ISS technology engineered for increased sharpness at lower doses than traditional designs. FDR Go's new onboard workstation includes Fujifilm's advanced dynamic visualization, which automatically enhances the entire image for clear diagnostic detail, providing exceptional first up images with every exam. FDR Go's quiet operation sleek profile and friendly design are sure to bring smiles throughout the hospital. I'm Jill, I'm from X-Ray. From the OR and ED to patient rooms, the ICU, even the neonatal ICU. FDR goes ultra sensitive steering makes it easy to maneuver and fun to drive. The flexible telescopic arm adjusts easily for any exam and locks down low for excellent driving visibility. And since FDR Go has the same user-friendly workstation interface as our other systems, it's easy to learn. Fujifilm offers wireless detectors in a full range of sizes and formats, so you can optimize both dose and field of view. Just gonna slide out that and the thin, lightweight detectors enhance patient comfort and lighten the load for technologists. FDR Go is fully ruggedized to ensure reliability and resistance to vibration and splashes. And with its sleek, uncluttered design, wipe down is quick and easy. 
The Technologist workstation is loaded with features that speed the workflow. Okay. Two second image previews and nine second cycle times ensure exams are completed DR fast and the system is fully wireless for quick and easy image transmission and real time work list updates. FDR Go runs four to five hours on a single charge for uninterrupted workflow. Fujifilm knows your time is critical and image quality is paramount, especially in portable exams. Go with the most advanced portable digital x-ray system available. FDR Go. Go beyond expectations.
Here, we see a list of specialized COVID-19 medical intensive care unit equipment including ACMO, high flow oxygen device, powered air purifying respirator, isolation pods or stretchers, and autonomous UV robot. Here, we see photos of the previous mentioned specialized COVID-19 medical intensive care unit equipment. ACMO, high flow oxygen device, powered air purifying respirator, isolation pods or stretchers, and autonomous UV robots. In the next slide, we will watch a video about the VersaFlow, powered air purifying respirator, made by 3M Company. The photo shows COVID-19 patient, an intensive care unit, connected to many medical devices, mostly intensive care unit patients with critical illness, require the connection to numerous number of medical devices, as shown in the photo. The result of such chaos could be high noise level, confusing medical team especially the in-charge nurse, and thus compromising patient, diagnosis and treatment. Moreover, the wires, tubes, poses and connections could lead to unreachable zones inside the intensive care unit room itself, and consequently lead to high infection risk possibility. The solution could be through an integrated intensive care unit room solution similar to the integrated OR room and packs, or even redesigning complete medical equipment solution 
for an intensive care unit room through specialized manufacturers, research and development centers. Novel intensive care unit devices list could include pain numbing applicator, such as Equal Sense, pain viewer, powered air purifying respirator, isolation pods or stretchers, and portable digital radiographic X-ray system. The air touch is portable digital radiographic X-ray device manufactured by the Aspen State. This device could play a role in the future design of intensive care unit. Through the elimination of alcoves or bays reserved to the store of large mobile digital radiographic X-ray device. Now we will watch a video about it. Here we see photos of previously mentioned novel medical intensive care unit equipment including vein viewer such as AV500, portable digital radiographic system such as the Cal Neo Xair made by the Fujifilm and pain numbing applicator such as the eCool Sense made by the Cool Sense. Now we will watch a video about the pain numbing applicator Equal Sense. Making a difference can start with a simple idea, like pain suppression. Not all methods are effective, but we've developed one that is. Cool Sense, a revolutionary handheld device that may appear simple, but features tremendous technology. Millions of people endure the pain of injections every day. For chronic conditions, blood tests, cosmetic treatments, tattoos and permanent makeup, immunizations for infants and children with diabetes. All of this pain can be prevented. CoolSense numbs the injection site using a unique cooling system without chemicals and without side effects. 
its sophisticated built-in electronic components and disinfection mechanism ensure a simple and effective numbing process. Achieving the precise and ideal temperature is what makes all the difference. Cool Sense. It makes perfect sense to lose the sense of pain. During 2020 and now 2021, I have made a lot of tenders for the equipping of different COVID-19 intensive care units with variable sizes, such as 6-bed intensive care unit, 12-bed intensive care unit, and 16-bed intensive care unit. Here, you see in this table, an example of such recent 16-bed COVID-19 intensive care unit tender. As we can see, the most expensive items are the ventilators, which count for around 58% of the total tender cost. I want to mention the medical equipment here are for famous brands with high quality. Also, I want to mention that this is the list price and not the final discounted price. I have shaded the brands and models for suppliers' privacy reasons. Here, you see in this table an example of a supplier's quotation for another recent 12-bed COVID-19 intensive care unit tender. As we can see, the most expensive items are also the ventilators, which count around 45% of the total tender cost. I want to mention that the medical equipment here are for famous brands with high quality. Again, I want to mention that this is the list price and not the final discounted price. I have shaded the brands and models for suppliers' privacy reasons. Here, you see in this table the list of suppliers with their brands and models who shared in the previous 12-bed COVID-19 intensive care unit tender. There are also other suppliers who have been added recently to this list with brands and models. Thus, the selection of medical equipment needs a full knowledge of national and international medical equipment markets as well as in-depth knowledge of technologies behind each device to reach proper fair decision. Also, I want to highlight that the cost of medical device in a tender includes not only the long history of experience and expertise of manufacturer, but also the quality and value of supplier services, such as excellent after-sales services including operational training by application specialist, prompt repairing, continuous update, and inexpensive service cost. This part will talk about the COVID-19 intensive care unit design based on the infection control, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the increasing number of confirmed deaths and cases will lead to a major change in the rewriting of healthcare facilities guidelines worldwide. One of the major areas which should be addressed primarily is the infection control in the hospitals. Concerning the intensive care unit design, the infection control should focus on a flexible, efficient and cost-effective design of multi-use intensive care unit room. One of the major sources of possible infection risk is the splashing water generated by clinical hand wash sink in patient rooms. Such issue has been addressed by the Canadian Healthcare Facility Guideline, Z8000. The solution can be seen in the proposed hand wash sink, addressing such requirements, as shown in the photos. This sink is designed to avoid water splashing in the room, 
through deep basin with unparalleled tap and drain detector for hand-free operation as well as other features as shown in the diagram the effective intensive care unit design based on infection control will include the use of antimicrobial painting antimicrobial vinyl for floor covering and furniture antimicrobial medical gases outlets boom clinical hand wash sink based on z8000 e glass for doors and windows hvac with positive negative and neutral pressure control inside room medical equipment with higher ip code medical furniture new technologies such as the change from mobile into portable digital radiographic system dialysis machine used for both acmo and renal dialysis in the left diagram we can see the use of antimicrobial vinyl for furniture and floor now we will watch a video for the use of antimicrobial material for the manufacturing of medical gases outlets. Also, a curved trim plate replaces the existing fascia plate to match the modern aesthetic of the Gem Shield outlet. This has a simple curved profile to eliminate dust traps for improved infection control. The new trim plate also includes an antimicrobial additive for ultimate patient safety. The antimicrobial additive is included in all user accessible parts, including the ink. The additive is mixed with the plastic during the molding process, providing inherent protection which lasts the lifetime of the product. The antimicrobial properties can also be validated using a verification device. This not only proves the antimicrobial properties, but can ensure the outlet is a genuine Beacon Medeas product. Additionally, Beacon Medeas have kept the class-leading internal check valve and first fix assembly from the current model, meaning backwards compatibility. Mark III and Mark IV outlets can be upgraded to Gem Shield in the field. Please contact your sales representative or service technician for more details. The use of boom in the intensive care unit room will lead to Management of the electrical and medical gases outlets. Easy patient head access. Better infection control. Now we will watch a video for custom intensive care unit solutions, including booms and patient lifts. Manufactured by Amico.
back design of intensive care unit rooms. Based on the experience learned from the COVID-19 pandemic, should be the design of intensive care unit rooms, providing different environmental requirements, positive pressure for patients with low immunity, such as burns patients, negative pressure for patients with infectious diseases, such as COVID-19, neutral pressure for patients with high cardiac risk. Now, we will watch video 4. The negative pressure control by the Qualitair company. Qualitair presents the respiratory isolation room under negative pressure. Qualitair provides the fastest and most economical way to create a full negative pressure isolation room system using three units. The HEPA-Net for the patient's room, the 350C for the anteroom, the 100C for the washroom. The HEPA-Net will capture air at the source of airborne contaminated particulates above the patient's head, filtering contaminants with a 99.99% HEPA filter. The surface of the HEPA filter is radiated continuously by a germicidal UV lamp in order to prevent the growth of bacteria and viruses. The HEPA net will exhaust some or all of the intake air, depending on the requirements of the installation, in order to maintain the room under negative pressure. The Presuta monitor is installed in the corridor to monitor and display the pressure differentials with its high precision hot wire technology. Audible and visual alarms will alert personnel in the case of lost negative pressure and the Presura will also relay a signal to the HEPANET, prompting the fans to run on high speed to regain negative pressure settings as soon as possible. The system will be activated by a single key inserted into the wall-mounted switch in the corridor. This unit is also equipped with a timer that records hours of operation, making maintenance scheduling convenient. The relay box will activate any additional equipment in synchronization with the HEPANET in the patient's room, whether it's dampers, extra fans, and more. The Qualitair system will provide a negative pressure isolation room at low cost that is safe, easy to operate, and easy to maintain. Contact Qualitair for complete specifications or visit us online at www.qualitair.ca. 1-877-444-8012. The windows and doors with their associated curtains could be a source of infection risk. The solution could be using the glass curtain free hands-free opening and closing doors. Now, we will watch video 4. The Automatic Intensive Care Unit Door Pro Care 8300. Made by the Stanley. Healing the critically ill. It's what ICUs are dedicated to. Yet, according to the New England Journal of Medicine, 35% of ICU patients will contract a hospital-associated infection threatening their recovery. That's why Stanley has improved our ProCare 8300 ICU door to help prevent the spread of infection. Introducing the ProCare 8300A. It automatically opens with a wave of a hand. There's no need to touch a handle and risk contacting germs. It also opens quickly, quietly, and smoothly, and closes safely thanks to our overhead sensors. If these sensors detect a person or object within two feet of either side of the door, they keep the panel open until the path is clear. But Stanley did not stop here. We did extensive research with ICU nurses and discovered an important fact. They can't sufficiently monitor their critically ill patient when there is a closed door separating them. So we designed the 8300A to give control back to the nurses. They simply switch the door into manual mode, and our exclusive power assist technology allows them to easily operate the door using three times less force than other ICU doors on the market. Whether in manual or auto mode, we covered all the needs of the ICU room, including options for an electric strike, 
to ensure a mechanically secure positive latch for isolation rooms and for privacy glass and blinds. Just like the ProCare 8300, the ProCare 8300A makes the environment for patients and caregivers easier, safer, and quieter. In the ICU, life hangs in the balance. The new ProCare 8300A is the only automatic ICU door that balances infection control for patients with monitoring control for nurses for a new level of protecting the patient and promoting healing. That's performance in action. Finally, thank you.